Good morning and welcome to the Holiday Inn Koh Samui. With this being Koh Samui's newest family friendly resort, we decided today we were going to go outside of the hotel and do some family activities that you can also do within an easy reach of here. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways to get around on the island. Generally speaking, the most convenient and what usually works out the cheapest is to rent a scooter, but it's not necessarily the safest. The roads can be a little bit crazy. We're kind of regulars and riding motorbikes all around the world, so we're used to it, but we always have one of these for all of us. There are, of course, taxis that you can get as well, which are much safer, but they will cost you a lot more money. So let's go now to one of Koh Samui's biggest attractions, the Big Buddha. All right, so we kind of broke our own rule today. One piece of advice I would always give you if you're coming to Big Buddha and any of the temples and sites around Thailand um, is go early, before it gets too hot and before it gets busy. Today we've had a bit of a slow day. It's getting really hot. It doesn't really Not usually the time that we would come, but I always recommend coming like seven o'clock in the morning. It's a beautiful time to do these things. Let's go. So when you come to a temple, you have to cover your shoulders and your legs, and I've got, it's you didn't, hot. You're not the most temple appropriate But the thing outfit. is, I knew they have these, so that's why I came dressed like this, because I just needed some air to breathe. So I'm gonna put this on. This one's really nice. Still got holy water on my sunglasses <laughs> so this is where the monk will uh, bless you and you get a little uh, bracelet and holy water sprayed on you and then you can give them a little donation to maintain the grounds of the temple so so you do feel blessed now i feel very blessed <laughs> last time we met adam were here or for the first time they took a bit longer and also they were like he said good luck good luck good luck honeymoon 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 <laughs> we're not on honeymoon <laughs> Bush, why don't you tell me what we're now going to do what are we going to do now? We're going to write our names in a brick. Why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, as another way to monetize. <laughs> you can write your name on a brick and then they're going to build the temple with your name. And today we're going to write where next family. Family is I want to go and like, I, I don't trust them, I, I want to go and physically get some cement and I want to <laughs> lay this brick to build. Look. That was so big! That was so big! <laughs> there you go, you just built the temple. I'm going to come back in a year's time. I want them to show me, show me where my <laughs> brick is, paid for that brick. <laughs> Okay, so just, she's interested in chicken now. Just a couple of minutes down the road, it's worth visiting at the same time. It's called Wat Pla Liam, where they have a few different small temples and also different statues, Buddha statues and various things. So we'll show you guys now. Can you tell me what you got there? What are we doing now? Uh, tell the camera what we're doing. The feed and fishy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna feed the poor 
Yeah. Where is that little? Oh, look at this! It's so big. Oh, look at It's time for some local Thai lunch. Malia says that she wants to. Hey, I want a little green chili. chili. Why not a red one? Um, Just don't eat it, yeah? That's spicy, spicy, spicy. <laughs> spicy, spicy. <laughs> I think that was just her way of getting to drink some coke. <laughs> was it spicy or not? You didn't really lick it properly. What have you ordered today? So I've actually been recently really enjoying lap. I've had it the last few times. It comes with either chicken or pork and it's essentially minced with some herbs and some onions and usually a, a lot of chili. because we're trying to keep it quite healthy. I'm you? trying to find my abs again. <laughs> Put some more in there. Yeah. The mine is corn, stir-fried vegetables, you like it, fish. Pork, egg and rice. What's the plan, Malia? We're going to my town. Nice. This gentleman to my right is Joe, our friend from the UK, and he's currently living that digital nomad lifestyle, living on the road, and uh, we're out here in Thailand with him doing some Muay Thai now. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Your daughter, uh, your daughter's first Muay Thai session. I'm excited for her, <laughs> like, and she needs to let off some energy. But the only problem is going to be you have to be disciplined. Yeah. So, like, she doesn't like being told what to do. So, let's see how she gets on. Nice. Left line. No, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, nice. Good job. a small kind of intimate setup so it's perfect for our groups they're really accommodating so the place is called V Win Gym and also the next best thing about it is it's right by the beach Bangkok Beach is one of the, in my opinion one of the best beaches to come to for like a sundown so yeah if you can hear what I'm saying right now come and check out the beach wow that was a good comeback way. I'm holding an imaginary hand for a child. Malia's got a five month old kid and a two, 20 years old kid. So yeah, sweaty, sweaty session, but so, so good. What a 
feast. How was your Muay Thai, by the way? Definitely Sabah. a bit rusty. No, I didn't feel good. No? No. <laughs> and uh, Joe over there made a lot of noise. Joe Very thought good. he was a, um, a Muay Thai instructor. And so when he's like kicking the tires, he's like, hey! He seemed to like it, so. So we're back to the hotel now for a feast. Okay. So I've got lab again. So there's your lab in there, minced chicken. And then I also got chicken satay on the side as well because because protein is needed. And I have one, I can't remember the exact dish, it's some sort of stir fry. Chicken satay as well, and then some sort of fish. I was actually going to order that. Yeah, yeah. I just copied right here. Let's eat. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so tell me, what's the game we're playing this morning? Uh, grown ups only go in the stairs, mm -hmm. and kids go in the elevator. Okay, so press the button. And then, wait, wait, when you press the button, I have to start running? No, when the door opens. Okay, all right, you press the button. I'm gonna stand here until the door opens, and then I'm running down the stairs, and you're taking the elevator. Which floor are we on right now? We're on the fourth floor, right? Yeah, so we need to go to work. Okay, ready? Here. Steady. Go! That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty close, I thought. Now I'm warm. All right, so we're gonna get some breakfast. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Malia, does the Mickey Mouse fork and plate set make your food taste better? Yeah? It's kind of cool, huh? The kids get your own cups and plates. It's because and... they're a bit more plastic. A bit more plastic, so you messy kids can't smash things. Is that why? Yeah? <laughs> I'm aching a little bit for that Muay Thai session. Already? Uh, yeah, already. Might need a few days. <laughs> Perhaps. But this concludes. I hope you enjoyed our little experience here around the nearby family activities that you can do if you're staying here at the Holiday Inn. We had fun. And these are actually all things that we would do just generally if we're on the island. Yeah, you um, don't have to stay here to obviously access these activities. There is a lot to do though. There is. And especially somewhere. with the Muay Thai, we chose V-Win Gym because we know the instructors there and they're kind of cool with Malia just like running around and punching There's things. There's also the space and... Yes, but yeah. there are lots of other Muay Thai places that you can check out. But yeah, we had fun. What else did we do? Uh, we went to the temples. Ah, uh, yeah, and the temples. <laughs> it, it, temples, I will say this, and I was saying this to Joe yesterday. I believe that if you're going to come and you want like a quick cultural experience that you can get in and out in an hour, Big Buddha and Plalem is it. And do it first thing in the morning. Yeah, and wait go there nice and early. Up. It's one of those things you don't have to do for the whole day. It's literally an hour of your time and you can get on with your day. Um, I also found it quite interactive for Malia. She enjoyed it, yeah. <laughs> she re It's the first time she's those, been to a temple. So. It, those like little things that you could do throughout, so the kids will enjoy it too. So yeah, exactly. that's it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, as usual, please like the video. If you've been to Thailand before, or Koh Samui, should I say, if you've got some other cool family-friendly activities that you've done before, please comment down below. Let us know, because we're always interested in hearing, and so are other people. And if you're new and you're not subscribed yet, or if you are just a regular viewer and you're just not subscribed, please subscribe, help us grow our channel, and we will see you on the next, the next one. one. Bye.